Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to train Stable Diffusion Excel to make interior designs in your own style. This is a continuation to a video I posted long ago where I used Control Net and Blender to make isometric rooms. But now, I want to show you how to create high quality renders using AI ethically and inspired from your own work. So the way we go about it is LoRa, which is basically a checkpoint that you can make on lower end PCs. And the way I'm going to go about it is, I'm going to make a LoRa from my own style, the style that you see right here, an interior style that I've made, which I can ethically utilize in the future to make several other renders using Control Net, for example, or different angles, if I need to, perhaps even change the color of my space, etc. This will open up a huge door for me to use my imagination to make several more renders in a lesser time and to make them photorealistic and fantastic as the ones you see right here. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to give a higher resolution to the images that I'm showcasing right here. I'm going to do that with an Stable Diffusion UI. Here, I'm going to batch process the images that I just showcased. Then I'm going to use Ethergan times 4. Afterwards, I'm going to use these images that I've upgraded right here in Koya SS GUI. Here, all you need to know that the repeats have to be around 15 because I'm using a lower end PC and copy the settings that I have right here so that you can use Koya as well if you have an HGBs of RAMs just like me. Here, basically, I'm going to use the Stable Diffusion Excel checkpoints. Now I'm going to use, show you how to use the parameters properly. Of course, since we are training a style, I highly recommend that you use the instance as whatever style you have close within Stable Diffusion already. And here I'm showcasing the settings that you need to copy one by one. It's all right. You can copy the settings that I have as a test the first time. Each and every one of those is important, especially the epoch, etc. Now, I've taken these settings from uh, AI entrepreneur he was very helpful in me coming up with this video and now I'm going to caption these images using blip and what I mean by caption is I'm going to have a file a text file actually next to each and every single one of my images which are 40 in total I'm going to train 40 images within Koya SS GUI and I'm going to describe them exactly how they are like for example here, this is a TV that's showcasing sand dunes on a white wall, on a white marble uh, reflective floors with uh, blue curtains that has vases on etc etc. I'm going to describe everything I see right here exactly as though I'm writing a prompt with unstable diffusion if that makes sense. And also, so I won't go this video very quickly and I won't leave you with this boring captioning video i'm going to tell you some important things that you should do in order to get a properly trained laura which is uh, to pick an instance prompt that is close to what you want for example i want an interior render but an interior render is not usually a style that is feasible with unstable diffusion but a ue5 interior render is a style that's feasible with unstable diffusion because ue5 renders exist and interior photos exist therefore i Combine these two and made a good instance, instead of making a random instance. Find something that already exists and tailor it to your needs. And as for the repeats that I showed you, which are 15, you can have them at 10 if you want to, you can have them at 20, but I realized that if you want to train characters, and this is also from AI Entrepreneur when I tried doing it in the past, you need to have at least 40 steps, 40 repeats, in order to have a good character, and somewhere between 5 and 20, in my personal experience, 5 and 20 if you want to make a good interior render Rolora. As for the settings that I showcased, you can pause the screen, like take a screenshot, I do not mind at all. Also, I have, this was partly inspired by AI Entrepreneur's renders, and I did the same thing with his tutorial. I paused and I watched the settings that he took, and I've noticed that the most important settings that he used were the Epoch, and the VRAM allocation, I believe. And I mean, us as artists should not be way too concerned with this. I foresee that in the future there will be 
a way easier method though perhaps with lesser control on our models a way easier method to create these LoRa files and checkpoints etc so I don't find that to be a uh, highly recommended knowledge or a highly usable skill in the future if you're like a 3d artist like me or a character artist etc and here I am again just describing the scene that I have again be really detailed with everything that you see within your scene the carpet uh, the type of table the the AI has to understand here I'm gonna talk to you as a fellow artist so whatever coder AI expert please do not be offended what I'm basically doing here is I'm spoon feeding the AI to understand what a chandelier looks like and where is it exactly in my scene is it on the top wall on the lower wall I'm making up a way to be able to talk with it basically if I'm going to input 40 images and start training them the AI needs to understand what they are now that I have used blip captioning and I have prepared the directories for training all I need to do is just press start training consider that you've copied the settings that I told you about earlier now after you're done training you're gonna be left with a LoRa file my LoRa file for 40 images was about 160 megabytes here I am in comfy UI and I'm writing my prompt my prompt should be detailed not so detailed because I'm going to use a LoRa after all but should be detailed what I want to see in terms of a subject I want to see perhaps like a living room with a modern living room or bedroom with blue furniture and marble flooring I don't need marble flooring I want it to be realistic then I'm going to describe it even further uh, give it some more supporting positive prompts I want it to be photorealistic a realistic render I want it to have realistic lighting photorealism unreal engine of course an unreal engine render I'm gonna need to have that here a blender render as well we love blender and high details and high quality and as for the refiner almost the same thing that you did on top by the way I'm going to leave this file as a JSON in my uh, description so you could download it and experiment with it yourself and if you guys want to I'm going to leave my interior checkpoint so you can experiment with it as well but bear in mind this is very specific to an interior modern design uh, <coughs> to an interior modern design style that has marble flooring and modern furniture so you might not get the good result if you're looking for something that is like a Japanese bedroom or a Japanese living room I mean, you understand what I'm saying you need to train it on whatever it is you want to get out in the end and here I'm just showcasing my settings here I have my LoRa here I have my case sampler it's gonna go through the bay decoded and I'm gonna give a higher uh, emphasis on my LoRa now that I've queued my prompt things going well and I expect a pretty good render let's see the fruits of my labor and there we go ignore the first images that you saw the ones that needed a refiner this is what you get after using a refiner I mean this is really close to the style that I input it but it gave it some variations and with stable diffusion xl i'm very sure i can get even more renders with this interior renders considering that i need to make a large number of them all i need to do instead of using materials and shadings etc i'm going to use this with some basic shapes that look like my couches and my tv and this is what i would get in the end thank you so much for watching i hope you found this useful and i'll see you in the next one where we will discuss anime diffusion